Motif set number four, Betsy. This is the Americana set, and the first one in the set is the Flag Heart. And um, this is my version of it. I wanted a blue background, and so then I had to use a darker blue for the field of blue behind the star. And when you're ever you're appliquing stars with sharp points on them, never try and do a stitch right out into the corner. Just do a stitch on this side, then do a stitch on that side, and leave the corners unattached, and you'll come out with nice points here. Um, this is just applique um, a white heart that I then trimmed here just a little bit underneath the blue, put the blue on top, and then the red stripes are also applique down. A lot of my motifs are into this mat, and so I'll be kind of twisting it around to show you. This next one is the house with the flag. And here's the one that I did, and then here's one that my sister did. And um, I couched down uh, a chenille thread, kind of a heavier, fluffy thread for my flag, and then she just did little single embroidery floss stripes through there. I like how she did her star. It's like how you draw them when you're young. <laughs> well, we still draw them that way, but it's just um, the little lines to create a star, and then I just did five little straight stitches. Um, oh look, she put more, she put the, probably the right amount of windows on hers, and I probably cut mine short. Um, either way works. <laughs> And she added her chimneys into her roof, and I did a contrasting color. I'd love to see how people interpret the motifs to make them their own. The Americana House is next. Got to make sure I'm showing you the right one here. That is the one with the striped roof. Here it is. This one is kind of um, Mr. Lincoln-ish, <laughs> just a little log cabin, and then we made the roof look like a flag. So red and white stripes here, or red stripes on a white roof, and um, a star on this half with a field of blue. The next one is called flag and stars. This one's very simple. I like the chain stitching going up here and then I also like the star stitches right here. This next one is called flag day and there are lots of flags in this set and that's because Americana is all about flags but I did change some of them so that they had different um, fields of blue. <coughs> this one is two rows of a heavy chenille thread, and I did a red background with white stripes. This one is a white background with red chain stitches going through. This one I chose to just do one big star, and this one has lots of little chain stitches, or sorry, star stitches. Um, both of us did our flag poles pretty much the same, um, couched down pretty heavily, and then a little tassel here. I like that bright gold on that one. The next one is the colonial flag, which is pretty much like the last flag we just looked at. Only this one has the, the ring of stars. And so here again, oh, this one um, has just a, a chain stitch flagpole and then a ring of 13 stars chain stitching out here in the stripes. Chain stitch is a good heavy stitch to do when you need some stripes. The crossed flags are next and they're just opposites of one another and I love the variegated thread that was chain stitched in here. 
It's a really cute one. Next is the eagle. And this is actually one of my favorite motifs. I just like this. It's very, um, I don't know, just very patriotic feeling with the bald eagle. Um, this one, uh, just you can applique on a background. And so it looks flaggish behind that eagle. This, um, the bottom of his beak is all filled in with satin stitches to, you know, make it look different than the top part of the beak. The next motif is the bunting. And here's one. This one was actually pretty fun. Um, when I cut out these letters, I used heat and bond behind them. And then I hope that you can see that I used a lighter thread to applique them on with so that it ha added some texture. Um, this whole piece right here is blue underneath and then the white ring was stitched on the top. The hardest part about this motif is getting these stripes even. And you can see that mine are closer together in here than they are out here. But that's the way it is. I did the little stars down here. Um, your picture, your illustration has cut out wool stars kind of implied and I decided that I wanted to just stitch those there instead of cutting them out. But either way would work. The next one is called Star and Stripes and I chose to do mine so that it hangs down instead of going across. And so you are def definitely welcome to do that. Very simple motif. I didn't even add any embellishing at all to that one. Here's another one that was my sister's. And a much lighter blue. The next one is called Uncle Sam's Hat. And this one is very simple again and the stars and the stripes you know just make it very very patriotic. Next is the five pointed star and I chose that one for the center of my table mat. Um, this one it's the colors that make this a really nice motif because you just use high contrast. I applied the circle down, then I applied the star, and then I came back and did a coral knot stitch around here. That's also what I the stitch that I used um, you know, after these were all sewn together. I came back and did a coral knot stitch in black. Here's another star, just a different variety. And this is kind of fun to just do a big straight stitch across there to create a pentagon in the middle. The next one is the sailboat. And that one is already sewn into a quilt. So let me find it. This one's cute. Nothing seems more 4th of July than a sailboat. And I like how the chain stitch just kind of implies the water line and nothing the chain stitch up here is just very easy and then everything's appliqued on with outline stitch little stripes on the flag on the sails this next one is called ring of stars and this is a fun one just the it echoes the hexagon shape there's some fun stitching around the outside here Dividing it up into sections helps you to get these nice and centered. And that's a fun little motif. And the last one in the set is the coat of arms. And I did put one on my table mat here. And then my sister has one. And I love, love the green background. Nothing goes better with red, white, and blue than green. And I, I just think it's really fun different colorations. Again, nothing spectacular on the stitching. Um, you could add a lot of stitching and embellishing if you wanted, um, but the, sometimes the motifs can just stand on their own.